Grade 8 math number 6.3a. This entire chapter 6 is about functions. And now we're going to talk about how to compare a table of values to an equation for functions. We can use tables, graphs, and equations to compare functions. We can compare graphs to graphs, equations to equations, tables to equations, which is what we're doing in this video, tables to graphs, and graphs to descriptions. We can see if they're linear or nonlinear, proportional or nonproportional. We can compare their amounts, their values. We can compare the slopes. So to compare a function written as an equation and another function represented as a table, we find the equation for the function in the table. Boy, is that a mouthful. We find the equation for the function in the table. So it's in the table. So Emma and Tala buy MP3 files from different music services. And the monthly cost Y dollars for X songs is linear. The cost for Emma's service is Y equals 50 cents X, that's for each song, plus six dollars. So the cost of Tala's service is shown in the table of values. So this is Tala's service, okay? We need to write an equation to represent the monthly cost of Tala's service. So we look at this table of values and we're gonna pull an equation out of this. The first thing we do is choose any two ordered pairs to find the rate of change, the slope. So I chose this one, the 495 over 5 and the 990 over 10 as my x, y values. This is going to be x1, y1 and x2, y2. All right. I'm going to use slope formula and we're going to find the change in y values over the change in x values. Just like this. And then the m is going to give us the slope. So we have 990 take away 495 and 10 take away 5. See? We do our subtraction and we get $4.95, $4.95 over 5. When we simplify this, we come up with 0.99 as the slope. So that's going to be our slope that we're going to use for our equation, okay? Now we need to find the y-intercept b, the red one for the equation, okay, for this. So we know our slope is 0.99, we need to find the b. The way we do that is we use that slope, 0.99, and any point. So I like to multiply by 10 because that's a nice round number to multiply by. So I chose 990 and 10. We plug them in as the x and y for our slope intercept form. So we have 990 equals 0.99. That's what our slope is, the purple. And our 10 is the x value right here. See, 990 is the y and 10 is the x. So I plugged in the 990 for the y. We've got our 0.99 for our slope, the purple one, and now we've got 10 for our x, and we put the b here because that's what we're trying to solve for. We multiply 0.99 times 10, we get 990, 9.90. We plug that into the formula right here, and we get 9.90 equals 9.90 plus the b. Now we subtract the 990 from each side so that we can isolate the b, and it comes out as zero. Do you remember what happens when the y-intercept b is a zero? We substitute the slope, 0.99, and that y-intercept zero into the equation, and we have y equals 0.99x plus zero, or we don't need to write that zero. We could just say y equals 0.99x. Now, we need to figure out which service is cheaper when 20 songs are downloaded. So we have Emma's equation y equals 0.50x plus 6, and we have Tala's equation, y equals 0.99x, and we plug the 20 in for x, and we multiply. And for Emma's, the 0.50 times 20 is $10, we add the $6, and that's 16. And we multiply the 0.99 times 20, and we get 1980. But that's what it said in the, in the table of values, too, that 20 was 1980. We can see which one is cheaper. We can see Emma's is cheaper. Hers is only $16. That's $3.80 cheaper, isn't it? So there, we compared a table of values to an equation. And what we did was we found the equation from that table of values. We found the slope. We found the y-intercept by isolating b to one side. We plugged it into the equation, and we were able to actually compare two amounts. Isn't that something? 
All right, we're going to continue on to 6.3b. I'm going to talk about comparing tables to graphs. All right, don't forget to hit the like button if you like my videos. Don't forget I'm on Twitter if you'd like any of these whiteboards as a study guide. And I'll see you next video. You'll do great. Don't worry. Bye.